हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू नेट सेट ओ एस एज इन दास्ट वीडियो वी हैव लर्न अबाउट जेंगो सेशन वॉट आर जेंगो सेशन एंड हाउ दे आर यूज नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन अ मोर डेप्थ सो एज वी नो वाइल डूइंग दी ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग वी यूजली सिलेक्ट सम ऑफ दी थिंग्स एंड यूज दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग टू एड इन टू आर कार्ट let's say i'll make a box over here which is cart and if i select here there is a check box in three of them if i select here apples get added up to the cart now what happens generally when we add certain things into the cart suddenly the product prices changes but when i added it to the cart the price was 200 now suddenly the price changed to 220 let's suppose it to be 220 but at the time of adding it into the cart it was 200 only so it has taken from the database there was some query running when i add it to the cart it has taken the same price 200 but suddenly when price changed it won't be considering 220 because when i add it into my cart it was the same price so it was in the same session this means that the item has when i added it to the cart maintained in that particular session but it will be only till that time until session expires and that session expire can be due to browser close or up till some duration if we have set it to be session refreshes within 10 minutes or 1 hour it depends when session expires but when it is added when it is within the same session the current price of the product will be in the cart also no matter whether the product price is changed afterwards so basically in this video we'll be building functionality to create shopping cart and we'll be associating them with session and here we'll be setting custom session key now let's see how to add cart to our project so what i'll do i'll go to settings going down below i'll press enter and here i'll be writing cart underscore session underscore id let's put it to be cart so basically when a cart is needed we check whether custom session key is set or not if there is no cart is set in the session we need to create a new cart and save it in the cart so basically we made a cart session id this is the key which will be using to store the cart in the user session since zango sessions are managed per visitor we can use the same cart session key for all sessions now we'll be creating a new application for managing shopping carts so for this we'll be opening our terminal come out of the server and here for making new application i need to write python manage.py start app let's make it the name as cart now let's verify we have cart parallel to online shop first application was online shop and here we have cart by default it will be creating these many python files in it now i'll be going to settings and in installed apps as we have written as we have written for online shop we'll make for cart also so putting quotes cart dot apps dot cart config now here we'll be creating a new file inside cart application new python file whose name is cart now inside this we'll be making class with the same name cart and here we'll be having object first we'll be defining in it request here we'll be initializing cart session equal to request 
dot session it will be inside function now with the help of this session we'll be writing cart equal to self dot session dot get settings dot cart underscore session underscore id before that we need to import settings from sango.conf let's shift this and here we don't have any error now we'll be writing if not cart then empty cart will be saved in the session so here i'll be writing cart equal to self dot session taking from settings dot cart underscore session underscore id which will be in dictionary form now outside this self dot cart equal to cart so basically this is the cart class which will allow to manage the shopping cart here we require the cart to be initialized with a request object so basically we'll be storing this request dot session in self dot session so that it can be accessible to other method of cart class that's why it is following oops so first we try to get the cart from the current session using self dot session dot get settings dot cart session id here we have written if not cart that means if there is no item in the cart in that situation it will be making an empty cart by setting empty dictionary in the session now we'll be making a cart dictionary with product id as a key and for each product key a dictionary will be a value which will be including quantity and price quantity as in as we have taken in for apple we will be needing how many kgs and its prices so in the cart we will be adding prices with how many kgs or how many quantity of that particular thing we are needed so by doing this we can guarantee that a product will not be added more than once to the cart if you want to add it you can just add it by its quantity let's create a method to add products to the cart or you can say update their quantity so i'll be making a separate function df add where it will have product and quantity will start with one and here overwrite quantity will not be allowed so let's make it false and here we'll be writing product id str product dot id then we'll be checking if product id not in self cart so if product id not in cart cart can be initialized with for that particular id we'll take dictionary where we will have quantity is equal to zero let's make it in dictionary and price which is also in dictionary it should be colon and here it should be colon str of product dot price and then we'll be closing the dictionary now what about override quantity if we have override quantity then cart of that particular product id its quantity so first it will be taken quantity for the first time now if i add apples for the second time the quantity will be added by plus 1 over here so else the same statement plus quantity and then it will be saved now let's define the other function for save where we will mark the session as modified to make sure it gets saved so here i'll write self dot session dot modified to be true so basically in add method we took product quantity overwrite quantity three things in product we'll add or update the cart in quantity an optional integer will be there in the product quantity which will be by default taken as one 
whereas in overwrite quantity this will be either returning true or false now we'll be using product id as a key in the cart first we need to convert this product id into string which we did over here this is done because zango always uses json to serialize session data and json only allows string key names that's why product id which is a key we have taken in the string form now the product price will be converted into decimal and then we have taken the save method which marks the session as modified this tells zango that the session has changed and need to be saved it now we need a method for removing products from the cart it happens we usually add more items to the cart but what if if i don't like the product i'll be removing the product from the cart so for that i need to make the other function with remove let's take product here i'll be taking product id in string as we need to convert product id into string because zango always uses json to serialize session data and json only allows string key names and here we need to give condition if product id in self cart then it should delete that product id and after that it is supposed to save so basically remove method just removes the product from the cart dictionary and after that we will be saving it now we need to iterate through the items contained in the cart so basically we will be defining iter which is we need to define other function iter a method and here we'll be iterating over the items in the cart and get the products from the database why we need product price from the database taking the same example when i was adding this apples into the cart what i did i fetched its price from the database at that time now what if session expires then here it will be 220 but when session expires again there will be query running which will be select price from whatever the table it will be where i'll write here product is apple so at that point of time the price will be 220 so here it will be fetching from database to 20 and will be taking the refreshed price after the session expires so going to the pie charm here we need to get the product price from the database so here i'll be writing product underscore ids which will be taking from self dot card dot keys and then we need to get the product objects and add them to the cart so here products equal to product dot objects dot filter id in taking from product underscore ids let's import this product going above so here i need to write from online shop dot models import product 